Hello everyone! Welcome back to more Mario! Super Mario World! So if my predictions are right, that last uh, the last episode went up on the 9th, which means today, the day you're watching this, should be the 11th. Um, if so, I hope you had a good Mario day yesterday. Uh, if this is going up on a completely different day, then, uh, I fricked up my update schedule somewhere. So, oops. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, but yeah, I hope, uh, everybody enjoyed their Mario Day this year. 2023. Um, I have no idea if I did. Because it is still the, the, uh, the fourth when I'm recording this. <coughs> so, yeah. I have no idea if I enjoyed it. So. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. This is probably going to be the last of the episodes that I record this session. Um... Just because it is almost four in the morning. And uh, I have not been getting sleep. Rather, I have not been getting good sleep lately. I have been getting sleep. I just haven't been getting good sleep. <sighs> good job. Oh, I did hit him, I guess. Didn't look like I hit him. I guess I did, because he was not in the cloud anymore. Bye-bye, cloud! Huh. So I guess that's how Final Fantasy VII ends, huh? <laughs> uh, that was bad. That was bad. Sorry, after I said goodbye, cloud, I went... Don't make a Final Fantasy 7 joke. Don't make a Final Fantasy 7 joke. <laughs> I guess that's how Final Fantasy 7 ends. Cloud just flies away. <laughs> uh, even I'm like reeling at that because it was so bad. Like, if you audibly groaned at that, then good. <laughs> Because that was terrible. Uh, hey, we could go fight Bowser right now if we wanted to. Not going to. We still got a few more levels to do. So, I don't think I'm going to unlock Soda Lake. Which is the, uh, the, uh, transport, the star that's like right over here. This. Soda Lake. The red thing here goes down here to Soda Lake and then goes here to this star. There's also a, a uh, star road inside the Vanilla Dome. I probably won't be unlocking that either as I don't really need it. So, oh god, it's Rory's Castle. This level is notorious for me. <laughs> it, it, this is one of the hardest levels, in my opinion. Like, it's castle number five, but, like, castle number six is easier than this. So, nowhere near as hard as, like, this is nowhere near as hard as number seven. Um, what the frick was that? And that's a lot of the reason why, unfortunately. I still don't quite understand how the snake blocks work. And, like, how the, you know, fireballs, like, react to the snake blocks. It seems like it's pretty inconsistent. Also, ow. <laughs> so... 
I wonder if I have started posting Final Fantasy 14 videos yet. Probably not. I don't think there's enough days. Because, like, I... Like, I would like to give myself the benefit of the doubt and say, yeah, I could do that. But, in order to start airing those, I have to finish recording the stuff that occurs before Tower of Zot. And, unfortunately... As it stands, um, cause like I'm having to record that and other things in order to keep, you know, episodes going every day. <laughs> um, I don't, I just, I don't know if I have enough, like, I mean, I know I don't have enough other content immediately offhand. Um, but, like, I might now. Because even if I were to do, like, some half hour episodes, like, tomorrow for recording, which I'll probably be recording more SLA. Um, like, even if I did, like, half hour episodes, um, that would only get me, you know, the, the for like another series, I mean. That would still only give me like two days to record all of the like content before Tower of Zot. And chances are good there that there is more content. I keep doing that. <sighs> Honestly, this snake like, the snake block thing, <clears throat> like, it destroys my brain. It is so hard, in my opinion. Like, I cannot, like, wrap my head around this. I've never been able to. Now, you think, you know, it's just the, blo the, the snake blocks going in a certain pattern you just follow. But, like, I can never wrap my head around, like... How they interact with the environment, you know. Is this fireball going to get knocked backwards? Is it going to get knocked over? Is it going to phase through? You know. Did I jump too early? Did I jump too late? <coughs> you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. <laughs> okay, game. <sighs> this, this could end up being the episode. <clears throat> this is one of the hardest levels of the game, in my opinion. Not the hardest. I still do think that level 7 is the hardest. Or, or Castle 7 is the hardest level in the game. Not counting, like, the Star Road, like, special stage stuff. Because that's harder. But it's, like, it's a different level of difficulty. Or it's a different style of difficulty, I should say. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah. Oh, my... Mmm. <laughs> Should I go full Vinny, uh, go full Vinny in, like, quack, like a duck? I don't know how he does that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how he does that. I can't do that. But that's fine. I mean, he's the duck guy anyway. Best, best probably not to steal his, you know, duck thing. <laughs> I do love his duck noises, though. Like, I, I love, like, 
platformer games get him in a way that's completely different from like any other game. And he always makes the most hilarious like sounds during platforming games. So it's always so funny. <coughs> Bonk. I didn't quite make that jump, it would seem. <laughs> Woo. <coughs> what do I call this episode? Utterly destroyed by Roy's castle. Dun dun dun. Although, I have to say, I've heard some people play this track on, like, grand organs. Like, the kind you would find in, like, a cathedral or something, you know, something like that. And it is hype, man. Like, it sounds so good on, like, a grand organ. Like, it really feels like, it, you know, boss time has come. And that is why I was trying to hit that switch. Because there's that one dude right there. Whew! Okay, this is the easy part. It's just the same fight as Morton. Wow! Just the walls close in a little bit. Oh, why? Oh no, please don't die. Oh my gosh. Oh, why, Mario? Why did you bounce off him? It bounced off of him instead of squishing him. Twice! That they have some kind of like invincibility when they like drop down. Um, it's really annoying. <laughs> and makes it really hard. Well, I can definitely, like, if I really want to, I can title this Destroyed by a Fireball. I was going to say Destroyed by Roy, but <laughs> nope, just, ju ju just, you know, a, t a little Fireball, dude. I swear I remember them being called Potabos, though, but... Maybe that's just, you know, a Mandela effect thing. There's so many things that I, like, remember that just aren't, don't exist. Like, you know, how, you know how everybody remembers the Berenstain Bears? Or is it... Excuse me, is it... See, I can never... That, that's what I can never remember was whether it was that everybody remembers the Bear Stain Bears, but it's actually Berenstein, or if it's that everybody remembers the Berenstein Bears, but it's Berenstain. Got it this time. Also, I like that that little fireball pops up for like 
like way ahead of you even like coming down here and that doesn't pop back up until after you've already passed by it's like what is the point of that fireball <coughs> The little, like, fireball that's in the lap. Whoa, did you do that? It's those freaking fireballs, though. Like, like the, yeah, like, see, he just, he pops up. And then, like, I'm way past him by the time he comes up again. It's like, what's the point? What is the point in existing? Like, why do you exist? What is your purpose? I mean, we could get into an entire existential, like, question about that, but I don't think any of us want to. Oh my god, please. 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 It, uh, it, it did not... It, uh, I, I was asking it please, and it did not. I was like, mm, nah. And I know it has something to do with, like, when it loads in on the screen compared to, like, where the freaking, um, the, the, the snake blocks are at. But, like, Gosh dang it, if it isn't, like, highly inconsistent, <laughs> you know, like, where the freaking thing it loads in, or I should say when the thing loads in. I'm sure it's consistent, and it's just me being inconsistent with my movement each time, but, like, gosh dang, dude. Fireballs, fireballs, fireballs. Bonk. Oh. 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 Okay. <sighs> you and your freaking sunglasses. Are going to go down, Roy. I got the cape, which means I can flutter. Not that that seems to be helping any. Bonk. Got him. Oh my gosh. It's done. We got it. We passed Roy. It only took 15 minutes. Oh, that can that that level can literally take me up to an hour to get through, depending on where my skills decide that they're at at that day. <laughs> and that's one thing that I'm a little worried about with coming back and recording, like in another session. Mighty found his way through the forest of illusion and has put an end to Roy Coop of Castle Number Five. Onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. I've never been able to, like, figure out how to keep my skills consistent. One day, like, I'll be doing this and I'll be breezing through levels. The next day, I'll come back to play and same levels, you know, running the same levels. And all of a sudden, it's like I can't play at all. I don't understand why that is. <laughs> I wonder if anybody knows why that would be. You know, why it's like sometimes I just don't have the same like level of motor skills. Like nothing changed. You know, I didn't change controller. I didn't change, you know, self. Nothing changed. And yet for some odd reason, I'm like, I have like a completely different amount of skill, you know. 
And I wonder if there's any real, like, explanation for why that is. Bloop. Got it. I would rather have the cape right now. Especially in this section. Well, not this section, but the next section, rather. This part! <coughs> if you don't have the cape, you have to nail that Koopa, like, perfectly. Luckily, I did. And also, I nailed that Koopa, like, perfectly, surprisingly. But, like, if you don't land on that Koopa, like, perfect, you will die. And Yoshi actually makes it harder to land on the Koopa properly. Also, if you, like, land on the, the Koopa, but you don't, aren't, like, hitting the, the jump button, you know, you aren't holding the jump button, um, then you will also miss it as well, so. Thank you. No! I didn't think it was going to go over that far. Oh, I have a giant, like, scrape right down my back. What the heck? That's weird. I swear, I just wake up with these freaking, like, scratches. And, like... I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, I... Like, I... Not only am I constantly in pain from whatever it is that's causing my constant, like, pain. Like, I literally wake up with, like, a new injury every day that I somehow sustained in the middle of the night. And I don't know what caused it or what happened. It makes no sense. Yep. We're in Chocolate Island. <laughs> uh, this is where my skills start to tank. I just haven't played these levels as much as I played everything else. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to blow directly on the mic. I did turn my head as soon as I noticed. I mean, unless you like that. <laughs> no. Mother. Whoa. Okay. Hey, that one group of uh, ghosts didn't spawn in. That's interesting. No. Quick. Hey. Oh, you're nasty. Come on. Come on, you three. I need you. Thank you, Boo Blocks. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, 
That's actually one of the easier ghost houses, in my opinion. <sighs> Chocolate Island 2. Oh, this is the stupid speedrun one. Like, you have to get through the level into, like, a certain pipes in, like, a set amount of time. Like, before a certain time on the, uh, the timer. I don't think I did, because I think it's 270. I did! <laughs> I did! So it might be less, it might be like 265 or something. There's two ways through this level. You can eat, hey, 69 lives, nice. Um, you can either like speed run as fast as you can, which is very difficult to do and is what I'm going to attempt. Um, or, You can, uh, collect, like, every single coin. <laughs> couple more try. couple more tries. <clears throat> I don't usually do the, uh, the speedrunning version that I'm trying right now. Um, I'm mostly doing this more for the challenge because I usually do the, uh, I, I usually do the, uh, the coins. I figure it would be really neat to go through the, the speed run version because I so rarely see that. But, you have to get through this section. I was not holding the jump key. Otherwise, I would have made that when I bounced off the Koopa. But I figure it would be really interesting to, you know, go through that path since it's been so long. Um, I just don't know if I can. <laughs> That's the problem. That's why I usually take the coin route. Because I usually can't do the speedrun version. So. But the coin route means collecting every single coin, and that is very painful to do. I wasn't hitting the jump button again. I didn't expect to Bounce off that Koopa. Jump button. Hit the jump button. I'm good. <laughs> Just hitting the jump key and not, you know, Mario's not jumping, that's all. We're fine. We are good. Seriously. We had 70 lives. When we came in here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Did you see that? That was insane. What is this garbage? Secret!
I actually did it. I beat the level with the speed option. That's insane. Unfortunately, I think now I have to do the coin route in order to get the normal exit. I don't recall. It has been, it's been a very long time since I did that. So I legitimately don't remember like anything about the, the this route or any you know. <sighs> Good. What the? <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it works, I guess. No, but I want the checkpoint. <laughs> Just wanted the checkpoint. I think, I think my skills have died. Doesn't help that, honestly, getting that last level, like, my hands are hurting right now. Because of, you know, just getting to that last level. <laughs> I know that we are at the... Well, that was the shortest run of that level ever. <laughs> yeah, I know that we are at the half hour mark, so I could stop if I wanted to. Um, but I... Didn't think about that one, did ya there, Sonny? Yeah, didn't think about that one, did ya there, Sonny? See? You didn't think about that one, did ya? You didn't think about that one, did ya? No, you didn't think about that one, did ya? What? You aren't supposed to be kicking the freaking balls yet? Oh my gosh, oh my god, I'm not even gonna try for the checkpoint. Not even gonna try for the checkpoint, I say, as I die. Tr try I died trying to avoid the checkpoint. Rick. Where have my skills gone? <laughs> I think, I mean, partially it's that, like, it has been forever since I last even saw this world. So, like, I legitimately don't think I have any skills for this world. So that is the problem. <laughs> Boing! Oh no. Oh no. Bonk. Uh, why? Bonk. Just go. Just go. <laughs> oh boy. 
I'm not hitting, I'm not holding the, uh, the run key this time. Whoa. Or the, like, pick up button or whatever you want to call it. Okay. <laughs> I flew over those guys that time. So that's interesting. Just, just, just keep walking. There's lava right there for you. Have a nice bath. I mean, apparently they are having a nice bath because they just kept going. <laughs> they, 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 they did not die in the lava. How about that? And these are going to sink. So I have to go fast. Oh, no. Football turtles. Everywhere. It's actually what we used to call them before, you know, we realized that they had a name. We called them football turtles. Oh, my gosh. I think that deserves a sub deserves a subscribe. <laughs> Well, that skips us all the way to Wendy's Castle, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. You can check the playlist for any episodes that you might have missed. Um, there's also a link to both Discord and Patreon. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And with that, I will see you all next time. See you later.